welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Gears. Today we're going to be looking at an air ratchet wrench. Uh, in this case, we have the Dynamic Power 3 8 inch ratchet wrench. And uh, wow, this is very sturdy. This is weighing in at about two and a half pounds. And uh, I'll tell you, this, <laughs> this feels solid. I like the weight of it. Now, uh, there are times when you have uh, different jobs on the um, on your car and it may be just a little bit too much to do with a regular ratchet wrench. Um, here you're going to be able to use pneumatic power and this particular ratchet wrench uh, will deliver up to about 50 foot-pounds of, uh, of power and that's that's pretty good. If you've got a a lot of uh, bolts and stuff that you're trying to get done this is a good way to do it very easy uh, here's your go switch and forward and back now out of the box this does not come with an air nipple so you're gonna have to provide your own and in this case I'm gonna provide my own right here and uh, let's get this bad boy on uh, Got a little Teflon tape here, uh, pipe tape, and let's uh, let's get it wrapped. Ah, yeah, let go. So we're gonna get some thread tape in there. Start screwing that in, and I have a 14 millimeter. box wrench. Let's get that in nice and tight. And there you go. We've got that in nice and tight. Uh, from there, you've got uh, 3 8 inch and we're good to go. And that's pretty much it on getting it set up for the job. Uh, what I do recommend, of course, with any ratchet set is have your air tool lubricant and I'm going to put a couple drops right down there. There we go. Always make sure that whenever you use this on a daily basis or if you're using it for a long amount of time that you do use the air tool oil, the lubricant. That'll keep this uh, rust free. It'll keep it from um, from breaking and let's just lay that out try and get that down there we go okay put that back where it belongs everything goes where it belongs all right let's go over to the car and let's see how this works okay we're at my Ford Mustang 2006 convertible and I have my air hose and let's get this Connect it up. I have the pressure set at about 90 PSI, a little bit above 90 PSI, and uh, make sure this is going to go the right way. We've got uh, right over here. I feel a little leaky here, so I'm going to have to tighten that up some more. And let's get that out. And there you go. It's out. And let's get it back in. And we're done. And that's it. It works very easily. It is quite loud. I'm going to say it is probably around, oh, 130 or 140 dB. Uh, that is loud. So I would definitely recommend having some hearing protection for this. And uh, let me let that down. And that's all she wrote. Now, I've said this before, after I use tools, I tend to wipe them down after. Uh, there's usually a little bit of oil on my rag, and that'll help prevent uh, rust from forming on that. Uh, so there you go. Let's go back over to the workbench. Okay, now that we're back from the car, you can see, look, it works just like any ratchet wrench. Um, 
but it can get into spaces, for example, when you try and use your electric driver, for example, or even if you do have an impact wrench, which I did in a previous uh, review. I really like this. I am going to give it five steering wheels. This worked really well. Of course, time will tell how this does, but overall, for you know the average garage mechanic for the beginner, this is going to start you off really well. Of course, you can double the price. This was about $27 delivered from Amazon. Uh, there is a link down below to it. Uh, you can get an Ingersoll Rand for a little bit more than double the price. Uh, there is also DeWalt, and I love DeWalt, and that was about double the price as well. But I couldn't justify uh, spending the double amount, uh, and we'll see what happens. But that's it. This is a great little tool. It's a great addition to my toolbox. And uh, hey, go get yourself one, and it'll help you out. So with that, may the Lord richly bless you. Make it a great day right here on Blood, Sweat, and